Hello everybody and welcome back to the video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and I'm excited for this one. Over the past week we had already checked out all the fatalities and other stuff for um, Mortal Kombat 9 and then also Mortal Kombat 10. The latter unfortunately got age restricted and the views are quite down in comparison to the 9th one. Um, but either way we are now going to be checking out all the fatalities in the newest Mortal Kombat 1. Um, I will say it before already, I've seen a couple in-game. Before the release of the game, I basically avoided everything, or as much as I could. Um, but then I've now also already been actively playing the game um, since the 14th, and have since then, due to that, seen a couple of them. But not much, okay? Far from all of them. More than enough to still make a reaction video for it. And the majority reason for that is also because I keep seeing the same characters, and also because um, the fatalities are actually behind an unlockable where you need a character you need to play them right i'm basically only playing melina yet i'm only rank 13 so i don't even have her second fatality unlocked yet i will finally see it now um so yeah you know just haven't been able to see them to do that but this definitely looks like we have all of them down here we have all the cameo fatalities we have all the uh, fatalities for all the characters uh the two that each of them have so I'm ready y'all, okay? Like, we have seen a handful already, which are really good, but I'm very excited to now finally see all of the other ones as well. I must admit beforehand, given that we're now talking about Mortal Kombat 1, um, I must admit that thus far, as fun as the game has been, it's far from perfect, and I really, really hope there will be some um, patches coming out. Most notably for the performance. The performance has really not been that good. Sluggish input with the buttons. Generally, the FPS has been very, very crunchy, okay? I don't know why we are fixing menu and fatal blows to 30 FPS. That really, really makes everything just really, really feel sluggish. Um, it's quite unfortunate. Um... But yeah, it's mostly that, honestly. It's mostly the performance, the UI is also a bit weird, and the menu and stuff like that, you know? Things like this, quality of life changes definitely need to happen alongside some performance fixing, and then everything will be fine. But it's been really fun either way, and I'm now excited to check out all the other fatalities that I've yet seen. It's definitely more fatalities I've yet to see than what I've seen already. I will tell you when I've seen them. So, either way, let's check it out. Working up with Cage. Talk about talent. Meet Hollywood's new I've star. seen that one, yeah. And it's honestly really, really fun. Also, hats off to the video creator, GameSpot, for choosing Reptile. Because that should lead to... Oh, I have not seen this one yet? The car? Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not over? Wait a minute, that was so funny! I mean, Cage, I remember the ones for MK11 and all the other ones before too, were all more humorous, so you know, for... You know, um, the Johnny Cage ones, you can always expect something that's a bit more on the funny note, while also being insanely brutal. What the hell was that? The first one was really cool already, you know, very... reminds me a lot of Casey Cage's from MK10, I think it was, with the... Where that was uploaded to social media. <laughs> But this one? It's so funny and creative. I already thought this would be it, you know? But vroom, vroom. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, Nitara. Megan Fox, you really... Megan Fox is really not a good... Casting choice. I've seen this one too. I've actually got hit with it. In I think even the video I uploaded uh, yesterday. Quite brutal and fitting for her. But I've not seen her second one yet. I think I've seen half of the first ones, but you know, not the second ones. Oh my lord. Jesus. Sheesh. Ashra, I don't think I've seen any of hers. Oh my lord. All of those that are like, you know, about taking away the skin, ugh, those always get me, bitch. And... Stylish. That's a very clean one, I like that. Garrus. Not seen either yet. Ah. <laughs> He's 
he's already completely, you know, taken half of the body. Yeah. <laughs> For good fucking measure. Hell yeah, Garrus is a badass character. I love his set and everything a lot. Huh? Oh my god! That might be the most clever fatality I've ever seen. Holy shit, that's so smart. <laughs> so, Garrus is all about time. So he basically rips out the head of someone, you know, of, of another reptile in another timeline or something. Then, decapit- Decapitates him with it, basically. He looks at his own fucking face, and the loop continues. Hey. For this fatality alone, and because like, I'm a big fan of his entire theme, I might have to start playing Garrus. Holy shit, that's fucking... That's nuts. Like, that's both brutal. Because especially the thing where, you know, they look in their own face where it's like, what the fuck? And just the creativity behind it, you know? Something straight out of Doctor Strange. Wow. Wow. That fatality is fucking 11 out of 10. It's so... In some way, it's pretty simple, but it's just so creative and vile in some way. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Vic, I've not unlocked him yet. I've not played his story yet, so... Not seen him at all yet. He ripped out his own, probably poisonous heart. Wow. Oh. That one was quite brutal, but the first one, yo, that first one was insane. Baraka. There's always one fatality with the IE bolts popping out, huh? But man, the quality of the fatalities has been... ...ridiculously strong. Yo, these fatalities are savage! How do they keep manage to make better fatalities every game? It really feels like every single game they're fucking step it up. When I first when I watched one is nine, I was like, that's good. When I then watched ones for ten, I was like, wow, that's great. And then I remember the ones from eleven, I was like, wow, these are even better than the ones from ten. And now we have those. And like I mentioned, the fatalities in MK11 are insane. But this one with Baraka. And the Garrus one? The second one of it? And the first Havik one? Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think I want to do a top 10 fatality video for this game already. My lord. Or for MK11 too. Actually incredible. Would you be interested in that? A top 10 top of ranking for maybe each game for both MK9, 10, 11 and this? Tell me. I don't want to rank them all because I think like only highlighting the really good ones would be more fun, but damn. Kenshi, very annoying character. I've played against him yet, but I'm gonna fatality each. <laughs> and for good measure. Even without that, it would have already been quite strong, but we've thrown the slash enough as bonus. Oh. Damn. Kenshi is a styler. I think I've remembered that from K9 already. Li Mei. Again, brutal and creative and funny in the same way. Wow. Oh my god! I gotta 
try playing her too. I've been having some great matches against Limace. We see so much body cutting, you know. Doesn't catch me as much anymore, but this not like made me very stylish. <sighs> oh, that hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> but knowing myself, I would just, I would just hit m myself there. Huh? Have we seen that already? We did. Oh, because it's Jean Claude Van Damme. That's why. I mean, okay. Fatality. I. Oh, what's there? Is it something different? Maybe a voice line or something? I mean, they don't the same fatalities. Broom, broom. Even says broom, broom. I don't think the jungle of Adams can eat it its own section piece, but they're dope, so let's watch them again. Oh, I think that's the. Uh, yeah, that's the one from the trailer. That one's very, very great. This is one of those that is just visually insane. Sheesh. Fatality. This one's new though. Oh my god. Completely fucking overkill. He just goes into a different universe in space and just flex it over. Raiden. Mm. Sure. Jesus. Some of these are just so much, you know. Some are quite simple and some is just bam, bam, boom. You know, there's 50 things at once. Same thing here. Just uh, getting the skin off is already enough, but he's like, nope, I got it knife through there. Reptile? Fucking annoying character. Oh my lord. Bruh. Jesus. I played against so many reptiles, but all of them just teabag after killing me, so I have not seen one yet. Reptile is so annoyed to play against. It's crazy. Shish. They were reminding me a bit of Barakas from MK11, where he also does the brain thingy. I think I've seen this one. Oh, I have. I've actually. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been playing Frost's cameo a lot, though. She's dope. Oh my lord! Oh! Damn. The way the brain was left over, freezing on the. Damn. I think I've seen this one though. Yeah, this one's pretty stylish. Simple but effective. The fact that they call stuff like this simple is very telling, but it's kind of the case. Oh my lord! What's up with these? <laughs> Sub Zero slide in though, but Jesus Christ, what the f <laughs> Similar to Barakas, the ones where it's then, you know, just several at once is just insane. Um, but this also kind of reminded me of the of the Mori from The Night and Dead by Daylight. If you know what I'm talking about, then I'm pretty sure you will see the similarities. Just, you know, you summoning three people, boom, and then you just finish off the job. Damn, the quality of the fatalities has been insane. I think I've seen the first smoke one, though. Yeah, yeah. Smoke and Reptile I've seen the most online. Yeah, yeah, the grenades. Very simple fatality for a annoying character. I got 28 hit comboed by this guy. Ooh. Very simple fatalities for smoke. There are also more stylish individuals, but you know. I think that's. Who's that? Oh my lord. 
Raiko. Damn, that was that was vicious. Oh, especially with the sound design. Oh. Damn. Anything with... Oh my lord, look at how he left him. Leaves him. The way to face. Squish 2. Anything with like bones breaking is... Ugh. Sindel. Poof your queen. <sighs> and she's also like, yeah, let's just rip out the entire spinal cord. Yeah. Jesus, his entire brain just exploded. <laughs> and then, like mentioned, the brain is already gone, and she's like, well, just entire sodding boom. Oh my lord. Wait, have I seen this one? It seems familiar, at least, but. <laughs> Jesus Christ. General wins. Jesus. Damn. Also very simple in idea, but like execution is once again visually just shish. That's Shun Sao, right? Damn. He basically spills out what will ultimately lead to him just, you know, solving. Huh? Oh my lord! Damn. That one's that one's dope with the snake, but like also the way he's like actually just you know stuck there. Damn, that was kind of brutal. And offset, offsetting. Rain. Wow, that one's visually very stunning. Damn. Okay, I gotta see this one. With like red blood, I feel like that would be visually even better. Oh. <laughs> this stomp for good measure. Once again, complete overkill. Some of the allies are such fun overkills. I'm not seeing this one yet. Oh. Damn. It's always so brutal when they rip out the entire spine, you know? It's just... Wah. Shish! Fatality. Danya wins. Danya wins. I've seen this one dozens of times already. Probably 20 times, 30 times, because like mentioned, Melina is my current main and I've, you know... Always using this one, but I want to see what's the second one. I was like, it's very close to locking it, so I'm now getting a bit spoiled already for it. But show me! Hmm. Honestly? Kinda okay. Again, I was very excited to see this one because he's like, been like major my most played character thus far, but honestly, this was kind of. It's okay, you know, like, it's brutally as usual, but, like, you know, the twisting and everything, it's it's nothing... It doesn't feel exciting, you know? Like, mentioned the stuff with Garrus or Havik or, you know, those feel much more like Alice. This one's a bit, you know, this one's one of those where, you know, uh, when they check of the list of fatalities they've done, where they're like, oh, shit, we still need one for Melina, yeah, let's throw it that one. Because that's something anybody can do, you know what I mean? That's something not really unique, but, okay. Kitana, oh my god, she's so bae. Kitana looks incredible, Jesus. And I've seen this one already, yeah. That's one way to get rid of trash. But why did the bones leave, you know, stay over though? Oh, wow. Wait, how does this even work? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I think this is... I think I'm missing a bit lore-related stuff here. Why it's a bad idea to kiss Kitana, what she what she does, but 
if that's the price for kissing her, I'm not willing to take it. Minty fresh. But how does this even work? Doesn't she literally doesn't she wear a mask? Oh, you actually see her. Okay, good detail. You actually see her pull it down. Smart. Uh, but okay, I have no idea why this is happening. I'm not sure what she can do. Again, if if that's the price, I'm I, I'm taking it. Okay, Kitana's bay. Look at her. She looks fucking amazing. Oh, there's not a cameo for Tellies. They are. I've not seen Darius yet. Very simple. Arms out, head up. Okay. That was the first fatality I had to go against in the game. It's so ridiculous, it's in incredible. Just the fucking word exploding. Did I sing this one yet? I don't think I did. Ooh, anything with heart is... Oh. This is very classic. Just... You know. Oh my god! That's a quick, stylish way to get rid of something. Not bad. Sonya? Huh? Since when, since when does Sonya have powers like that, but also very simple. I've had seen this one a lot already because I'm currently using Melina Frost the most. The way they look is both so silly and brutal. The way the arms and legs are just so bit intact. I've seen this one already, I've used it too. Just a big old stomp. The cameo ones are much more simple and straightforward. And the most ridiculous by far. What striker is? Simple, straight to the point. Even the stylish pose. Oro? He has an insanely brutal fatal blow with, with the arms ripping out. That's what forearms can do. I've seen this one too. Classic. Yeah, I think most of these are very, you know, um, maybe as a homage to very old ones that we've already seen before. I'm not seeing a sub zero cameo one. Also, very simple. Also, I do wonder why. Wow, okay. Like I mentioned, some are very. Fucking dude. I've not seen this one yet at all. I've not played against him either. What the fuck is this character? Wait, is he like a Robo Minotaur? Uh, not Minotaur, you know what I mean. Isn't this from Kill Bill? Okay, I think all these cameos are either very simple or homages to something. Either from older Mortal Kombat games or from movies. Oh, she's so annoying. I've not gotten hit by her. Italia, but damn, is she annoying. Ooh. That one's stunning. That one's visually stunning and brutal at the same time. Holy moly. These videos are always so much fun to watch and react to. The, the more for MK9 and 10 already, and this one too. So, my three absolute personal favorites are 100% the second one for Garrus, the first one for, ha for Havoc with the Tommy Card. And the second one for Baraka, with the with his clan coming to like you know these three, absolute by far the best in the game. Um, even though like mentioned the general quality is very high, it's either visually very stunning or just insanely brutal. Some are also very creative, some are a bit more humorous, some are a bit more simple than the others. But like you know you need that, you need a mix because otherwise you know everything will feel either the same or um when it's too. I mean it's never too bad to have like perfect ones for everybody but like mention the second form for Billy now like for some of the cameo ones and stuff you know it's it's something we see before something that doesn't flash you as much really like mentioned the Garrus one the heavy one and the Baraka one really really flash me these are by far my favorite three of the game again maybe I want to do a ranking video at some point for these if that's something people would be interested in uh 
but yeah, this was once again extremely fun. Um, I've seen many, many fables already, so if there's a video out for that, I don't think it's necessary to do that anymore because I've basically seen them all already. But like mentioned, for the Fatalities, I've seen like a handful of them yet in game already. Um, so the ones I've not seen yet was very, very exciting uh, to now finally do. Um, and other than that, like mentioned, I've been having a lot of fun with MK1 already. I've already uploaded a gameplay video for it. I'm streaming it here and there as well, even though like mentioned currently, the performance is the biggest issue. Um, it is very notable even more when I'm streaming. So I really, really hope that there will be some um, fixes coming out or performance patches coming out um, because other than that the game is a blast and I'm having lots of fun with it um, so yeah and I hope all of you are as well and if you will be getting it um, on the 19th then you know um, I'm really excited for you to finally play the game as well it's been like mentioned outside of the performance issues an absolute blast um, and yeah this is it with the video enjoyed it a lot I hope you did as well leave a like if you showed me that today your very fatality down below in the comments as well and as always if you enjoy what I'm doing leave a sub or follow me you know on, on here or on Twitch or something it would help me a lot we see each other with more Mortal Kombat related content down the road. I'm not sure how much content I want to do for it on the channel, but like mentioned, if more people find interested in it, I'm always open for more. Um, and other than that, we have a lot of cool Saw related videos coming out in the next two weeks for the Saw 10 release. Um, some other Pikmin related videos too, um, in terms of, you know, ranking stuff. Uh, so yeah, lots of creative stuff coming soon in the upcoming time, so tune around for that. And other than that, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again soon on my channel.